in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to be. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as pragmatics. Yesterday, I told you about speech act and its types. Today, I'm going to introduce speech act theory. What is speech act theory? Who introduced speech act theory? And what are the basic of speech act theory? All these will be discussed in today's topic. Listeners and audience, speech act theory was developed by two philosophers. They are known as John Austin and so according to speech act theory language is not only used to provide information but it is also used to perform an action for example if you say to someone that please open the door so that someone goes and opens the door so you see something so this is the act of saying something you see something and the person who went and opened the door that is actually the act of performing something then speech activity has been divided in three portions or in three parts the first part that is known as locutionary act second part is known as elocutionary act and the, per, uh, the third part is known as per locutionary act what is locutionary act locutionary act is the act of same something in other words locutionary act is a meaningful linguistic expression of a person it is lexical lateral meaningful expression of a person that is called locutionary, locutionary act for example if i say it is very cold it is very cold so it is locutionary act a meaningful lexical expression of a speaker of a person of someone that is called locutionary act second we have elocutionary act elocutionary act is the uh, act of someone it is the seeing of someone the expression of someone with intention in other words the act of saying something with intention is called elocutionary act listeners and idols elocutionary act is also called intending intended act of the speaker the situational act of the speaker as i presented the first example of locutionary act that when a speaker sees the weather or the weather is very cold or it's it's very cold now what does it mean an elocutionary act elocutionary act is the seeing of the speaker with intention for example the door is open and two persons are there one is the speaker and another is uh, audience listener so according to the situation the speaker says it's very cool so here the listener he actually listens to it definitely he goes and closed the door 
so what does it mean the act of saying something with intention so here the speaker intention he wants uh, the audience he wants another person to close the door so here is conveying a situational meaning the act of the seeing of the speaker with intention that kind of seeing with intention that kind of utterance with intention is called elocutionary act the third one that is called perlocutionary act what is perlocutionary act perlocutionary act is the effect of the saying of something uh, upon this uh, another person i am repeating the act of the seeing of the speaker upon another person the utterance of the speaker upon another person that is called perlocutionary act you may also say the act of the seeing of someone the effect of the seeing of someone or another person that is called perlocutionary act for example when i say to a child there is a child for example his father is uh, in abroad country for uh, one year or two years and i say that uh, someone informed me that your father is coming from arabia so what would be the effect of my saying upon that child definitely he would start uh, up and down he would be very happy uh, upon that he will be so happy his special ex- expressions even the way of his uh, moving so this is actually called perlocutionary act this is one example let me provide another example another example is that for example if you say to someone that i brought a gift for you so this utterance must have the effect an effect over another person so hope that this topic is clear to you thank you